We're gonna have a video from Tim Turner, who's the founder and CEO of Subsplash, which is a platform that churches use to connect their people and their mission to take the gospel to the world. Hey, Preston Wood Academy. This is Tim Turner. I'm the CEO of Subsplash, and we're a technology company that uh, was founded out in Seattle. Um, we serve lots and lots of clients and um, businesses and churches all around the world, like 50 different countries. And we have a platform that really helps them to like engage their audience and share the gospel and fuel their mission. So it's pretty cool. It's a uh, fun technology to work in and it's really nice to be able to be building a company, but I'm excited to share a little bit with you and, and, and connect to talk about the gospel and talk about like what God is doing with technology and how it might be relevant to you and what you might be, you know, kind of maybe going through in high school and what you might want to be doing and a few of those things and how like God is working in all of these things in, in our society and how that kind of all plays together. So excited to share with you and have a little uh, video chat. I was born and raised in the Seattle area and um, very you know, just excited about art. I always thought that I would be an artist growing up and that would be like a thing that I would do. And then there were like computers and there was like this sort of very strong interest that I had in those. And I would be able to go to computer class at my school. And even though we had that class, you would have to put in these floppy disks and, you know, it would take most of the class just to get your computer to turn on. And you, by the time we, we would finally start to be able to use it, it was like the class was over. So I learned very early on the difficulties of using computers and technology. And I always enjoy like simplifying things. And so I had this sort of unmet need to like use technology. And also I wanted to be an artist. And so that's how kind of like things connected for me to do design and also uh, technology and try to design software that's like easy for people to use and fun for people to use. And so that's kind of like my passion. And that's why I started Subsplash. And um, the Lord has just really sort of opened the doors to be able to, uh, you know, to be able to do that for, you know, millions of people, like billions of video files and connections have been made on the software that we're building. And uh, Prestonwood, we actually do serve Prestonwood. So if you've ever downloaded that app or used that, um, uh, that's something that Subsplash built. Also, the the Jack Graham uh, uh, PowerPoint app that was created. Um, all all of those kinds of things. Like we worked on those to uh, really enable that. One of the things that I kind of wanted to mention. So since you're in high school and you know you've got like all this technology, iPhones and iPads and everything that like is kind of there. You know, like you know you're in a really lucky and blessed spot because um, when I was going to high school, like all the software costs like 500 bucks. And, you know, to have it on your device, it was like you had, to you had to have thousands and thousands of dollars to have like any kind of good software. But like fast forward to today, you can get most things on your computer for really like cheap and, and you can have access to really awesome, awesome technology that's like easy to use. And so, um, you know, one of the things that I was thinking about in this was just about what God has maybe given to you as a gifting and what maybe he's calling you to do and how that could be used for the gospel is, um, is a, like an interesting thing. And so I would really encourage you to be curious, to be like interested and wanting to learn more and to grow and to do that in a way that like, can help connect with what is, what is your life all about? And what are the things that like give you meaning and purpose? And I, th I think like for me, that was always a, um, I don't know, from, from like an early age, just really thinking about like, why is this important? Why are these things useful? And what is ultimately like the meaning of life? Like, why are we going to do anything? Cause it all kind of started to seem pretty meaningless to me, you know, and I'm like, well, whatever I design, whatever I build is going to get replaced. The logos, the posters, the, you know, branding, so, you know, software interfaces, it's all going to be replaced by somebody else's thing later. What is the meaning of all this? And ultimately, like, what's the meaning of life? And thinking about that um, 
and connecting that together with uh, and realizing that the meaning of life is real. It really comes from connecting with God and bringing glory to God. And so when that became clear to me, I had my midlife crisis when I was like 22. Um, and so hopefully I live past 44. But anyway, that's what that was the thing that I had, you know, during that time. And I was realizing, you know, if I can live in a way that is like honoring to God, then that would be actually and, and, and that would be bringing glory to him and being obedient to that. So those things that I was excited about connecting with, like just always being open, it was like very helpful for me. And I would encourage that for you as well. So here's a kind of a fun story on that. that like, so ju- just outside of um, Seattle, there's this little city called Redmond. That's where Microsoft started. And so my, at my high school, the, the teacher that we had for desktop publishing, which is like an outdated term now, but like graphic design or design or whatever, um, she actually, when she was teaching, Bill Gates came by that high school and when, when he was in high school to be like, hey, what are you guys doing with computers? We just kind of like want to see what you guys are up to. And um, this is when he was a kid. He was not, you know, successful or hadn't built Microsoft or any of those things. And it was just interesting to me to like hear that as a story of somebody who's like passionate about technology and wanted to learn and wanted to grow and would drive around to like different cities to see what they're doing with computers at that time. And to me, that was really inspiring to just, just to think about like, well, maybe I could learn from that and, you know, learn from that tenacity and that sort of passion to go try new things and learn new things and, and do things and kind of, put myself outside of sort of the normal comfort zone. Cause I'm like an introvert and I'd rather just sort of stay home and kind of like, you know, make stuff, but just kind of learning from that was uh, actually kind of inspiring. So I would kind of, you know, kind of put that out there for you to, to, you know, just don't be afraid to push yourself and to be curious and to explore and try new things and find things that you like and, you know, cause God has given you, um, certain gifts and talents that he probably hasn't given that specific unique combo to very many people in the, in the whole world. And I think that there's maybe something special there. And if you can like tap into that and really like see what God has for you and find out what like he's kind of built inside of you that I think that's going to be good, especially if you think about like how you can impact the world for God's kingdom. Cause who knows, like the Lord can use the smallest little thing to make a big impact. So um, that would just encourage you in that. Let me give you a little bit of a glimpse into Subsplash. So I told you a little bit about what we do. Um, very cool thing. We just got on the Inc 5,000 list of the fastest growing companies in the United States. So um, that is a total blessing from the Lord. We've been, you know, honored to be in, we have a few offices around the country, people working in, you know, 18 different states and stuff like that. But like in Austin and Seattle, we've won um, awards for like the best workplace in um, this, the city or the state, things like that, which is really cool. And I'm glad to, um, to be able to do that in a way that it's just like, we, we want to honor God. We're very clear about that in, in our mission statement. Actually, like our mission statement is to glorify God and proclaim Jesus as Lord, uh, which is like, and, and it keeps going from there. Like we want to build a great company. We want to drive for humility, innovation, and excellence. But like we're trying to honor God with what he's given to us and to steward that really well. And um, I think that it's fun to be able to build a team of experts, of people who are very interesting very passionate, very excited about driving for excellence, wanting to um, collaborate together, and people who bring a whole mix of um, talents and skill sets together. So you don't have to be like a programmer or an engineer in order to like be a technology person or be in technology. Like you could be a writer, you could be um, great at just interacting with people, you could be a you know, like just a problem solver, you know, a really good question askers, people, people that like to like get in and just understand like what's happening and um, make connections for clients. You know, you could be a designer, you could be, I mean, there's so many different types of roles and skills um, that, uh, that you can do that honestly, like a lot of them didn't even exist um, a few years ago. So like, even for me, things that I was excited about, like, you know, 
some kind of art thing and some kind of like computer stuff. There was no concept of a, of a UX designer or a product designer or something like that, like when I was going to school. So like that's a whole different role that like literally never existed during that time. So there, that's going to be happening for you and your generation as well. Just as things move and change, like there are going to be new roles and new things that like um, might open up for you. And so, you know, for, for me, like I had the opportunity to go and work at Microsoft and work on some cool products and get some, um, you know, create some cool new things that had patents and, and a lot of that kind of thing. And to be able to bring um, that sort of like understanding and experience to building uh, Subsplash as a, as a company. So like when we started, we, we uh, were doing a lot of like consulting work for the Fortune 500 companies, they were like, hey, can you help us like envision this new product or build this new, um, you know, software experience? And we would come in and help them design and prototype those things. And then along the way, we were praying about like how we could use. So my wife and I, we um, were praying about how we could, how God could use this little business that we had to serve our local church. And that was how we, um, with the small team that we had, built the first iPhone app for a church period. So that was um, not a business idea, but it was an idea for like, how can we use this little thing that God has given us to serve our church well? And then other churches started calling us, Prestonwood being one of them, one of the first uh, like churches. And and now we're serving like 15,000 different churches and organizations. And, um, and so it's really cool to see that, that like that was, we had a, you know, it talks about in scripture how like in his heart, like a man plans his way, but the Lord determines his steps. And I think that that's something that like, you know, I'll, I would really encourage for you to be in tune with like, what are you excited about? And then how is God, what does God want you to do, you know, and to be praying about that and to be asking him, because like, if you're submitted to the Lord, then, you know, he can use you for doing all kinds of very interesting things. So um, if you're, you know, if you're great at photography, if you're great at writing, if you're great at blogging, if you're great at, um, you know, social media or really like anything, just think about like, what could you do to serve your church well? And that would be um, like probably just an interesting thing to see about how you might be able to get involved and get plugged in and, and do some of those things um, for God's kingdom, because, you, you know, those are the sort of things that are um like that's what will last, you know, what's done for Christ will last. And so, um, you know, you know, technology will come and, and, and new things will, will happen. And, um, but I think that if you are asking God, like what it is that he wants you to do, then I think that will be, uh, probably the most fulfilling thing that you can do. That's been my experience. So as we talk about, technology and innovation and creativity and being inspired, um, thinking about like, what are all the possibilities? What are the giftings that you have? What does God want you to do? Um, I think that it's very important uh, to seek wisdom. And there is the verse in Proverbs 3, 1 and 2, my son, do not forget my teachings, but keep my commands in your heart for they will prolong your life many years and bring you prosperity. And so um, not talking about prosperity gospel where, you know, Jesus is going to make you rich. That's not what we're talking about. But like uh, that the Lord is our treasure, like Jesus is our treasure. And like if you seek after wisdom, then God can present all kinds of very interesting things and good ideas that maybe other people haven't realized yet. Um, And just even, you know, inspiration on a daily basis. And the way that we get that is through scripture and good uh, Bible teaching. And so, um, you know, I would recommend that because like that is life giving and, um, you know, like the Holy spirit can give you inspiration on like, you know, the things that like God wants you to be aware of and to be thinking and saying and those types of things. And, and like being rooted in scriptures is, is super important. So, um, I think that like, kind of like whatever you do, it, it doesn't, you have to be, you don't have to have a career in technology. Um, you know, there are people that have made a huge difference in the world, 
um, that where it's like technology isn't even like really a part of that. Um, because like when you're, you know, walking in faith that the Lord can multiply the things that you have and the thing, you know, the giftings that he's given. And, um, you know, even thinking about people like, uh, William Tyndale, like that guy, if you haven't ever read about him, it's pretty interesting. Check it out because he was one of the first people to help like actually translate the Bible, um, into English and in, in like kind of a few, um, different languages. He was like a, like a linguist who was able to like do that in a pretty revolutionary way. People wanted to kill him for this and that kind of stuff. But he was just a guy that happened to be good at language and God used him for that. And so, um, you know, God might use you for whatever, you know, your skill set might be if it's, um, you know, music or photography or, you know, gift of administration or whatever that is. And if you're able to be, um, you know, rooted in Christ and rooted in wisdom and really understanding that God has made you with gifts to like reflect his character and creativity, then um, I think you can do great things that like people need. So I would encourage you in that. And um, I hope that you're able to just like pursue God with um, passion and creativity.